Welcome back to our series called Elena's Experiments. Every Monday we bring in local STEM educators and enthusiasts to share some ideas for experiments and demonstrations that you can do at home using things you likely have already in the house. Joining us today we have Delia Navarro with Sylvan Learning of Bakersfield. Thank you for stopping by. Always fun to this have is fun so with science. Fun. I know, right? And this <laughs> looks very exciting. What have you yes. brought today? It's a very simple demonstration to watch the electrolysis of water. Okay. So all you're going to need is a basic cup, okay. glass cup, some warm water, salt, okay. a 9-volt battery, and finally some pencils. Some pencils. Okay. Important to have extra of these around anyways because of your smoke detector, right? right? We're <laughs> coming up on the time to change those. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we're going to start by sharpening both sides of a pencil. Okay. So you can either take off the end definitely ask for your parents yes. help with this if you need to cut off that end. Hopefully they've are, you have a handful lying around with a missing eraser yes. already, so you can go ahead and do that. You're also going to need a piece of cardboard, okay. and you're going to basically poke a hole through here. Right in the center? Right in the center, but close enough so that they can fit on the terminals there. Okay, perfect. So, and it'll keep it in place as we place it in the water. Nice. So that's in place. Okay. Add some table salt in there as much as you want to just really get it saturated, you're going to stir it to dissolve it. That's why we have it warm. a little bit warm so it can make sure it does so very nicely in there. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and mix that in and then go ahead and place the pencils in. Perfect. So we're going to be watching the splitting of the water into the hydrogen as well as the the oxygen. Okay. So it, might be a little difficult to see, but you can start to form bubbles. Yeah, the edges of the pencil look almost fuzzy because they're drawing in some water. And you notice air. the difference between the two as well, because again, we're splitting yes. the hydrogen and the oxygen, and what's happening is they're forming gas. Okay. And so watch the bubbles. Have your children watch the watch bubbles. Watch the bubbles. Carefully. So I'm going to hold this up. I love that you brought an index card so that our cameras can see into the cup as it's happening. So is this partially because of the lead in the pencil? Yes. Yeah, so you know, and it's also important to note that the salt is what's helping make the water um, to be, to help the conductivity of the yes. water so that it can really make sure that we can watch it and it'll um, break down and come apart as we see that. And Absolutely. if you don't want to hold it all day, you can pick up these little alligator clips yes. as well as the connector, the 9-volt connector. You can get those on Amazon for pretty inexpensive. And just continue to watch that as you connect them on. Fascinating. The so such a great lesson for little ones to learn about science and electricity and conductivity. Yes. But I love that it's with water. Usually you think electricity and water don't mix those. This is great for kids to learn. Yes, yes. absolutely, absolutely. So you're getting a chance to watch all of that in action and have them make some observations, get their notepad out, so they're really beginning to put their science hat on. Yes. Um, so lots of fun, lots of fun. And again, make sure that you get the kids involved with making their hypothesis. What do you think is going to happen when we do this? Yes. And what are the differences? So really important. While we have pencils yes. <laughs> pre-sharpened and two of them already, you can also pick up these little, little um, things on Amazon, the diodes. Okay, there, and little LED lights. LED yeah. lights. And what you're going to find is if you use our battery, okay. you can also place these on here to create the light bulb as well, directly from your pencils. Perfect, because it's going to go from the battery through the lead and the pencil. Oops. Up to the little the diode. Accurate yes. direction. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. You really have to have the correct direction yes. on there. The, the longer pin is the anode, and the shorter pin is the cathode on there. So really neat way to create electricity. Electricity at home. Well. And these are really inexpensive. Yeah. But you can buy this pack on Amazon for less than five dollars. Amazing. <laughs> and so many different experiments you can do with these. Absolutely. And, and parents, don't let this be intimidating for you because you would think, I don't know anything about electricity. I definitely don't. I go online and I watch videos and I have my kids watch with me and then we get hands-on in the kitchen, which is so much fun. Yes. Delia, yes. I love this. Thank you. Thank you. And now that school's back in session, you still have after-school programs and tutoring available? Absolutely. Okay. We're here six days a week. We really want to make learning fun. We want to make sure students are as prepared for the school year as possible and excited and confident about yes. their learning as well.
confidence. I love that. Thank you so much for stopping yes, by. Thank you.